Hey everybody, it's Kelly. I am super excited to show this journal that I just finished. Um, it's a tutorial that I used, uh, rather not I used, but it's Marianne Kensington. She has a tutorial about how to use old uh, books, old hardcover books, and turn them into junk journals. And so that's exactly what I did. Um, I took an old, old book, this red hardcover book, and I made my own journal out of it. I did use the paper collection that I used was the Color Book Rosewood Collection. Such gorgeous papers. You can find it at Walmart. Even uh, Joann's is, is selling um, the Color Book paper line. Even Scrapbook.com now has it. So check out one of those three places, and you can I'm sure you can find it. But it's gorgeous. So I used the color book paper line. I used some um, dress it up buttons that I saw. For, I found at Michael's. Um, that's these hearts down here. They're flat back hearts. These flowers. Um, what else is? Oh uh, no. Oh these vintage buttons. This shoe down here, and this fleur de lis over here are dress it up buttons. You can find them at Michael's. I also took some recollections bling, cut it up, and um, altered a little bit. And then this one is separate from the Michaels bling. This is not a Recollections bling. This is a ZVA bling that was gifted to me by a dear, dear sister of mine. Um, some mulberry roses, some crocheted flowers from the Michaels Dollar Fifty bin. Another one of these vintage, uh, flack, uh, vintage buttons. It's in the same collection as the shoe and the fleur de lis. A prima clock and some flat back pearls from Studio G. Um, and yeah, that is. What I use, oh, and, and these letters, I got them at a thrift store, so I don't even know whose they were, but it was in a bundle of, or assortment of papers and stickers, and that's where these uh, journal letter, these letters came from. Um, th uh, but they are so super cute. And so, yeah, so that is uh, the front. Oh, and let me see, I tucked back, uh, this is some uh, vintage lace that I just kind of folded together, gathered together, and made a, a and tucked it behind here and a little bit behind here as well. Um, so just a couple of stamens. Um, and yeah, and that's it. That's it for the front. It was super quick, super simple, and I really, really adore it. I did a lot of fussy cutting and uh, fussy cut this butterfly and the flower and this flourish. That's from the paper collection. This uh, envelope, it's also part of the collection. It's uh, attached to the paper, um, but it is an envelope back there. It may not look like it, but it is. And this uh, stamp up here, this is also from the collection. Beautiful, beautiful papers. But, um, but yeah, that's the front. And the binding, let's see. And I just uh, did a crisscross or a cross-stitch binding. I love how that turned out. I'm so proud of myself. And let's see. And this is the inside. So this is the front cover. I took some uh, paper clips and some of the crocheted roses from the Michaels bin and some uh, buttons that I had in my stash and just use them as the flower floral centers and just made some uh, paper clips that's it simple simple uh, and uh, just just so that as I'm you know doing my thing and I can't get this thing on forgive me so I'm doing my thing I have something to uh, you know just paper clip to my paper pages hey that's what they're for there right um, but yeah <laughs> so yeah again the paper line is, is all rosewood it is gorgeous. I'm just going to flip through, just show you a couple of pages. And I also added some white um, drawing paper um, because I, I used, like to write down little notes and uh, make little doodles of ideas that I have. So that's where that's why I added the paper. But this, all the paper, all the printed paper is from the, is from the collection. A little flowers, some roses, some butterflies. And then each center of each signature has one full sheet um, of paper, and that's the line right there. And so that's one signature, and that's the back of this page, the other side of that page. And this is my second signature set. Oops, there we go. Beautiful roses. Look how pretty those red roses are. If you have not seen this collection, you should definitely go and find it and check it out. These pages are gorgeous, and that is the natural tea dye, tea dye stain of the paper. That is all paper. This is not me. I wish I could take credit for it, but I can't. But yeah, it's just super, super duper gorgeous. Here's another signature. Another page from the collection. This one in pink roses. And the center. 
this gorgeous paper to journal on. Look at those. Oh, look at that big old butterfly. Can't you just love it? The second side of the signature. And then let's see, this is the next, my fourth signature. I have five signatures in here all together. If I'm going too fast, I apologize. I just want to get this done. I'm actually it's supposed to be a choir practice. We sing for one of the gospel choirs out here in Oregon. And, uh, and so I'm supposed to be there. And I wanted to get this done before the light left me. <laughs> but isn't this gorgeous? Look at this page. This, I think, is one of my favorite, 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 favorite pages. I just love this, uh, this border up the top and how it's... Um, it's not it's it's asymmetrical. I love that offset. That's just so gorgeous to me. Let's see. Another part of the paper. Oh, and this one is this half is this half over here. I must have missed that when I was flipping through. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this journal. I am so excited. Look at all those keys. And then my last signature, again, the, the, the roses. Another set of uh, some flowers and keys. Forgive me, that's my husband's phone. Another solid sheet. And yeah. Oh, and look at this. Isn't it pretty? It's almost like wallpaper. I, will, I almost want a wallpaper a room in my house just to use the paper, but that's kind of... So I think my hubby might have a little problem with that. <laughs> but uh, yeah. But I just thought it was it's so gorgeous. That's the other side of that page. And there you have it. And it's just the back. Yeah, it's super gorgeous. I adore this album. This is now my new favorite thing. I have to make one for my husband because he has uh, about five pages left in his journal. So, yeah, I think I'm going to be making some more of these. And it's really, really easy to make. It took me, oh, and I, I was following her videos while I did it. Um... So I was having the videos playing in the background, and I was working on the, the journal itself. So it may have taken all of, oh, I don't know, maybe three hours start to finish. And I'm sure that I'm exaggerating on time because the television was also playing, and I had happened to sneak a couple of looks at the TV and what was playing on the television. So I'm sure it takes a lot less than three hours. But nonetheless, it was so much fun. Go and give it a try. I will link her uh, videos down below. Have, have a lot of fun with it, and I, I would love to see what you guys do. Um, but otherwise, yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. Um, tell me what you think. If you think I should add something, take it away. Tell me what your thoughts are. And go and find this Rosewood collection. Go check out the collections from Colorbook. They are gorgeous. No, I am not an on the design team or a promoter in any way. I am just an avid, avid fan. Uh, so, yeah. All right, guys, I'm out. Going to choir practice. Talk to y'all later. Bye.